coming to you from the heart of Oakland here at A16 Rockridge. We're gonna have a wine and pizza pairing party that is sure to sizzle. Here in the kitchen at A16 Rockridge with Chef Rocky Maselli, who's gonna give us the goods on how to make a pizza pie to perfection. Hi, Chef Rocky. Can how I call you, doing? you? Can I call you Chef Rocky? You can call me Chef Rocky. Yes. First of all, you've got the pizza dough here. You're gonna show right. us the full thing. Right. And um, I asked if we could flip, but you said no flipping in Naples. No flipping in Naples. We, they call it opening the dough, so it's hand stretched, but there's not a lot of air. Okay. You know, uh, throwing the pizza in here. Should I wear a hairnet or an apron? We we could get covered in flour. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Could get a little messy. All right, I'm gonna let you take the lead here, Chef okay. Rocky. Okay. Uh, so uh, Napolitana pizza. Uh, first thing you need is a pizza dough and a very hot pizza oven that's uh, right behind us. But the pizza dough is very simple. It's made with water, it's made with flour, yeast, and salt. And, and that's, it, that's it. Do you need it's to let very it... much a bread dough. Okay, it doesn't need to rise or yeah, sit it, for a it, while? Yeah, it rises for 24 hours, and uh, and, and it, it's perfect to work with, so okay. it's a lot of fun. The, the method here is you're using your fingertips to work the air bubbles out to the crust. So I, I don't want to kind of damage that outer crust, and I'm going to turn it okay. and work uh, the air bubbles into the crust, so it's nice and puffy. Start in the center and work your way out to the edge. So you want that nice crust around the uh, around the pizza. Okay. You got it. You got it. And, and now is this going to make the pizza like nice and soft and yummy like we like it? Well, the dough itself the is going to make the, the the pizza nice and soft. But if um, if you flatten the edge out, you won't have that nice crust on the edge. Okay. Right? Now what? Crust. Now we're gonna we're gonna do a hand stretching method where I'm gonna put my hand down. I'm gonna stretch the dough with one hand and then flip it back on the table and stretch it. And why are we, like we see on TV, they go da 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 and they flip it up and they do it way we don't allow to do that, how come? Well, um, the, the dough is meant to be stretched on the marble, on the, on the table, um, and that's just kind of a little bit more showy thing. I think it's kind of a, more of an Italian-American style pizza. And if folks at home don't have marble in their kitchen, they're not so blessed, what can we, can we just uh, do it on a normal cutting a, board? A cutting board, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great, what's yeah. next? This okay, is fun. so we're gonna top this pizza. I'm gonna do um, the traditional margarita pizza. So I have San Marzano tomato sauce that's been crushed into a sauce. So I'm just gonna sauce that pizza. It's about two ounces of sauce. So you start you want in the me to middle? do yours too? Uh, well, You're gonna I do mean, it? I'm gonna, gonna give it a it? shot. This might get a little messy here, I don't know. So you go like that. I think it'll be- A little be... bit more sauce. Oh, more sauce. So and then, and then sauce. just work it out to the end. Okay, good. Oh, look at that. I feel like I'm getting learning you stuff. You got it, you got okay. it. And then we're gonna add uh, mozzarella. Now, with a hot oven, we have an 800 degree oven. You can't put a lot of toppings on your pizza, and that's Napolitana style. The more toppings, the longer it takes to cook, and the pizza won't cook properly, so you've gotta be uh, reserved when you put the toppings on. So sometimes I get a little crazy with my veggie pizzas and put all these toppings, and then the pizza's like yucky and soggy and watery. Right. What's that all about? Well, that's just because the, the you, have, you put too much stuff on it. Oh, there you go, yeah. simple. And this is mozzarella cheese? That, yeah, wow, I've fresh, never seen anything mozzarella. like this. This is very nice. Very good. Okay, what do we do next? And then I'm gonna put a little basil on there, and that is the basic pizza margarita. Now, we're gonna load these pizzas into the oven. Okay. Okay. Two tools to do the, the cooking of the pizza. This is called the, the placing peel. It's a pizza peel. But we're gonna load the pizza onto the peel. And in order to do that, we're just gonna give it a little tug a little extra stretch to give it some shape and then it goes right in and this really only cooks for 90 seconds is that right chef rocky that's correct at 800 degrees it should cook 90 seconds and i have a question with you about traditional italian pizza because we heard sort of a debate about this uh -huh. at one point now do you eat the pizza folding it over like a taco or do you eat it with a fork and knife uh in naples they always eat it with a fork and knife and there's oh. two types of people the people that eat the crust first or the people that start at the center and eat their way out to the crust. Which one are you? Uh, I like the crust, I start with the crust. I start with the crust too. So most people at home, if they wanted to try to attempt this, obviously they don't have an 800 degree pizza right. oven. Uh, what if they just have a regular oven? Is there sort of a makeshift way to do it or is it, you gotta come um, to A16? The, the, the well, you have to come to A16 yeah, of course, to get hello. the full of pizza. Um, otherwise you can get one of these at home. Uh -huh. um, but uh, pizza, when you cook it at home, it's 500 degrees, it'll get a little crispier. It'll be a different texture dough. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. <gasps> Holy smokes! Was that one mine or yours? That's yours. Is it really? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's it looks like official. Yeah, you did a good job. Oh, I'm so excited! Do you know what I think would make this pizza even more perfect? Uh, eating it. Uh, eating it with and drink, pairing it with some wine, there Chef Rocky. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do My I pleasure. get some sort of honorary like pizza aficionado badge, or so I just get to eat the pizza? You can eat your pizza. <laughs> Come in and have some pizza. Tonight. Come into A16 Rockridge and eat your pizza.
We are sitting down with star psalm Shelly Lindgren here in the dining room at A16 Rockridge. You know, Chef Rocky just taught me how to make a pizza. You pick some fantastic wines to pair with the pizza. It's funny because sometimes the simplest ingredients are hard to pair wines with. I brought a California one because the quality of California rosé is far from the white Zinfandel we use at uh, George you know. This one is a, um, a burgeoning woman, young woman winemaker. And she has made this um, from the Napa Valley with uh, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. She has sourced from some different areas of Sonoma, but she's making it in Napa. Um, and Pinot Noir just has this one of the grapes of sparkling, makes an excellent rosé because you get that acidity, you get the fruit, and it's excellent for going with things like tomato sauce, which has sweetness, acidity, and then you add a little mozzarella, you want the acidity to cut the, the, that fat of the cheese. It's so interesting that you picked a rosé, Shelly, because I don't think a lot of people in their minds are going, pizza, rosé, they're just like thinking red wine, pizza, right? And I brought a red too, which is gonna go in a different way. Oh, you know, we love to go funny... both ways, Shelly. Yeah, I know, I'm talking about wine. With both of these pizzas, you're gonna have um, um, squash blossoms, asparagus, um, you have a richness of ricotta, and this is gonna go really well with the, um, the Nerodavla from Sicily that I'm gonna pour next. And that is naturally uh, ripened from the sun. Um, there in the Mediterranean on Sicily, um, the tannins turn sweeter rather than Cabernet Sauvignon, which is a bit more astringent. And, um, and this is a medium bodied Nerodavla, which it can go from lighter bodied to very full bodied because Sicily produces more wine than most wine-making, wine-producing countries. We've got these really cool, like, scissors, like, so we're yeah. literally cutting the pizza. A local company in San Jose um, developed this pizza scissors, okay. just for pizza. So when you lift it up, it's just going to cut right through the, the dough. Oh, and, wow. and also what happens oh. is, um, the reason why the scissors are so good is because there's air in the dough, and so if we take our pizza slicer and cut it right away, then we kind of deflate the dough. And if there's a tomato sauce, it might fall under. And so this has just been a really fun transition for us in terms of how we can offer the best for the guests. It's a new thing because... It's so cool. I'm giving myself a big old slice. The yeah. thing is, is if you get to cut okay. your own pizza, then you sort of and get to decide on which size is the best, right? Yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, I go like this. I'm just gonna have a little bit. Yeah, and then right. I just take a little bit more, <laughs> and I take a little bit more. The thing about eating um, Neapolitan pizza is that, yes, you can eat it with a fork and knife, or you could take up like a bigger piece like this, usually, uh -huh. and you fold it in half okay, and you sweet it. Like street, well, you we gotta do it. We gotta eat it like street food. We gotta eat it like, yeah, so one of the two. Uh oh. Mm. I mean, here we have a Bianca pizza and a tomato sauce pizza, and that might be how, people, how you think about ordering, but there's always more than one wine to pair with dishes. The main thing is to enjoy your wine. You know what you like, but explore a little bit too. Tasting is the best way. Is the best way to learn. Uh, we'll see. You heard it from the star <laughs> the best, song. The Taste as much wine as possible, yeah, right? Drink, drink more wine. Right, drink, drink more wine. You know what? I'm going to raise my glass. There's to health that. benefits to yeah, it. There's too. a drink more wine. Cheers. Cheers.